The children of the promise are counted for the seed. And the promise was given to Abraham because of his righteousness. But the children of the flesh are not the children of God, as it is written, those wicked idolaters. And remember that Abraham also had a son named Ishmael. I did another one-page writing and I went out and got 750 copies of them yesterday and I delivered about 150 of them this morning. I'm going to keep delivering the other writings that I've shown in the last couple videos I've done but this is the latest one and this is the one I'm probably going to be delivering mostly this month. I'm going to go ahead and read it and it's going to upset and I know it upsets a lot of these socialized idolaters that bought into a lie. At the very top there's a uh, rendering of the tabernacle of Molech and then the center is the so-called flag of Israel and I wrote star of Remphan underneath that and then the last image shows Benjamin Netanyahu kinda of dressed up like Moses with his arms spread looks like there's a nuclear explosion or some kind of explosion behind him in in this picture and underneath that picture it says synagogue of Satan and I've talked about this before I roll a lot of these up it's, it's a quick delivery to put up out a hunt 150 of these will fit nice in the uh, carrier that I have and I just throw I just throw them or sometimes I put them on a door or something but when, when they're rolled up like this you can see the image the, all the images and if, uh, if a person picks it up and turns it around they can see it, the whole image plus they can see uh, what I wrote Tabernacle of Molech, Star of Remphan, and Synagogue of Satan and I believe that that will be enough to get a lot of people to read the whole writing because of that because that's very threatening to a lot of people who bought into a major lie who think that those are God's chosen people and again I've said this before I'm not a, a racist anyone who was born anywhere could be someone who was born in Jerusalem or some someone whose ancestors came from there if they get right with God, then, you know, they're my brother or sister. And I'm not a racist like the synagogue of Satan is. These Jewish people. The ish part is what gets me. I'm not Jewish. And I'm not a Gentile either. So I'm going to go ahead and read this. The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, as it is written. But how is a Gentile named Benjamin become Israel's prime minister? For I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Romans 2, 28 and 29. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. But so-called rabbis reject Paul's words in Romans, and they reject Christ in Matthew, who said, to not be called Rabbi. Matthew 23, 8. 
But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. They also reject the words of Moses, who wrote a new song, as it were. And I'm not talking about the song sung in Exodus, when the children of Israel were led out of Egypt. I'm talking about the song that's mentioned in Deuteronomy, that was made as a testimony against them. Deuteronomy 31, 16 to 19. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, whither they go to be among them, and will forsake me and break my covenant which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day, for all the evils which they have wrought, and that they are turned unto other gods. Now therefore write ye this song for you, and teach it in the children of Israel, put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. And Moses was not lying about what he wrote. For Solomon, who all Israel obeyed, went a whoring. 1 Kings 11:7. Then did Solomon build an high place for Chemosh, the abomination of Moab, in the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Molech, the abomination of the children of Ammon. Molech. First Kings 11, 9 to 11. And the Lord was angry with Solomon, because his heart was turned from the Lord God of Israel, which had appeared unto him twice, and had commanded him concerning this thing, that he should not go after other gods, but he kept not that which the Lord commanded. Wherefore the Lord said unto Solomon, For as much as this is done of thee, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded thee, I will surely rend the kingdom from thee, and will give it to thy servant. So God gave them up. Acts 7, 42 to 51. Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets. O ye house of Israel, have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of forty years in the wilderness? Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Molech and the star of your god Remphan, star of Remphan, Figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness, as he had appointed, speaking unto Moses, that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus into the possession of the Gentiles, whom God drave out before the face of our fathers unto the days of David, who found favor before God and desired to find a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. But Solomon built him an house. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet, Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hands made all these things? Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, as your fathers did, so do ye. So this is what happened. God let David know in 2 Samuel chapter 7 that after he slept with his fathers, he, God, would set up the seed after him that would build his house. But David, who numbered Israel for Satan, jumped the gun and said Solomon would build it. And that's written in 1 Chronicles chapter 28. You see, God's house is made up of lively stones. But Solomon hired masons who used hewn stones instead. 
So some people think the abomination of desolation lies somehow within Solomon's temple. Though God never dwelled in temples made with hands, and this is why the desolate tend to hate Paul, who wrote 1 Corinthians 3.17. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. The synagogue of Satan worships the beast that was and is not. Revelation 17.8, the beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was and is not, and yet is. 1 Kings 10.14, now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was 603 score and six talents of gold. Revelation 13:18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six. And then I signed it Saint Michael, and I put www.iwarwiththebeast.blogspot.com on the bottom. So. This is major, people, and this is, this is very threatening to these people, as I've said. And I have watched an awareness grow overall because this is what I do. And over the last few years, and I've even seen a major awareness even within the last couple weeks with people, with the understanding that people have here, uh, this is this thing that, that keeps going on uh, with the, these Paul haters that refuse to speak against Solomon. And I'd like to remind some of you also that Solomon in Masonic Bibles is mentioned even before Genesis. He's, he is worshipped by Masons. And he's worshipped by Masons because he hired them to build that temple. And they got a lot of business out of that. So this is what I was led to write. And I'm going to be delivering these things. I don't know how many videos I'll be making. I haven't been doing them as much as I was. But I felt led to do that. and to do this video so y'all can see what's happening. Thank you.